and uh, we're still apparently um, s salivating that uh, fourth, fourth, the fourth of the July um, celebration. And so, uh, with that, I, th I thought I would show you, um, you know, what they have in store for you to celebrate your freedom. Uh, Shelly, if you'd put up that uh, graphic of um, of the Hilton Hotel where uh, they uh, the banksters intend for everybody to go, that would be a a great uh, a great graphic. Okay, for uh, American freedom and um, and basically it's a, it's a one world order as we know and so it's that freedom that uh, they have for us all around the world. You know I hear and I forget but I, if I can see it I get the picture and then I remember. That's Confucius, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, the um, the four the four the four walls and the um, the aluminum toilet coming up next. Uh, I know she's got it. She just pulled it together today, so I, I caught it. Maybe I caught her off guard. And um, but we'll we'll pull that up in a minute, and um, well there it is. Okay, right there. That's uh, there was actually a guy in our pod who could who could uh, draw. You know, he was an artist in his own right, and so there there he did. He 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 gave us all a copy of our of of our wonderful Hilton Hotel, and so this is when I came up with the quote. Uh, Once we can begin, uh, I say comprehend now. I don't say understand. You know, it's modified. But once I can begin to comprehend the true nature of things, then we can begin to comprehend that there's really nothing more to complain about. Northern Regional Jail, the mind control experiment, West Virginia, and um, and H and I say peace. And uh, so uh, so that was, uh, and the cold air vent, I, I totally blocked out with toothpaste and then you color it over with ink from your black pen and they don't even notice that the air is not coming through. You got to play all these little, little um, routines to, uh, get by in there. It's a, it's a you're on survival mode for sure. A lot of happen. It's called the Embassy of Heaven, uh, and so wherever we go, you know, we're we're taking taking heaven with us. Yeshua goes with us, and um, and uh, so I I have the record for the longest case in uh, West Virginia's history in the regional jail system, where normally they railroad pe people in six months. This is hard time. Then they get them in prison, and that's soft time in comparison. But I was in here for 26 months, two trials. And I walked out the front of the courthouse at the second trial because good people came forward. The senior investigator of the sheriff's department, I don't want to mention names, you know, I want to protect these people. 32nd degree Mason even came to my aid. You know, um, they, there, there are good people in all of these corrupt institutions, ladies and gentlemen. And that's, that's what you have to know. And so when you serve Yeshua, he will put those people there in your life, just like he, um, he, he created pictures with the stars in heaven. He created the Big Dipper, the the uh, the Orion, the Arian, the Arian, Orion, you know, the uh, the pyramid. He all these pictures like, OK, didn't somebody somebody put pictures up in the sky or what's going on? And so just like he put pictures up in the sky, he arranged our lives. Excuse me, I have to sneeze. Uh, he arranged our lives and uh, hold on. Okay, he arranged our lives and um, and put people in our in our path that will be there at the time to show his greatness. Okay, because it's not his will that anybody suffer, but the reason we suffer and uh, is uh, because of we're uh, we're not connected. We're in the outer darkness. And Ninja, what's that? SD ten. Did you finally get um, get some audio? I hope so. Okay, and. Um, so, uh, so yeah, ladies and gentlemen. So that's they've got they've got now uh, newer per, newer facilities for us in the uh, the FEMA the FEMA detention camps. Well, actually, they even have they have trailers. They have some trailers. I, I think they're all um, uh, you know toxed out from the uh, the poisons that they've they built them with because they uh, that that was one of the stories that they're not healthy. And uh, but you know that's I guess for the overflow because. Uh, they uh, they have um, and then uh, Homeland Insecurity they've got based out of Toronto not based in America go figure right um, have about three uh, three billion rounds of uh, hollow point ammunition um, you know even hollow point was not even used in war ladies and gentlemen not even used in war but this must be then the last go round because they got the hollow point to make sure you're not going to recover from a gunshot because a hollow point explodes in your body and the lead goes in twenty different directions. And does a lot of damage. Okay, so um, yeah, and uh, and uh, well, I want to welcome everyone again to the broadcast uh, that way and uh, script and uh, 
Lynn and uh, Shelly and uh, Ninja and everybody that's listening in on the stream. If you're on the stream, we'll, want to welcome you. And um, so, yeah, I, ha I, I, had, I have been through the fire, uh, ladies and gentlemen. And, you know, and I had to have the experience. I defended somebody's life, just to clarify, okay? I defended somebody's life. It was a, one of the, my ultimate tests. You know, would I just run to protect my hide? Because I knew when I... I was involved. I knew I was the victim of a government sting operation, but I couldn't run. I couldn't flee. I couldn't abandon, you know, somebody that was like my mother and uh, and let her fall victim to violence. And uh, you know, I ha and uh, so I uh, I knew when I pulled the trigger, I was going up the river. But you know, I knew the father was going to go with me. I knew he was going to be there, and he had already given me a sign, um, you know, just prior to the event that uh, he would be with me as well. And and so we have to be visionaries ladies and gentlemen we really have to see deeply we uh most most all of us see on the surface and we we um can't get a vision you know or if we had a vision we wouldn't be able to interpret it because we wouldn't know that the great yabble was speaking to us because um um y you know it's about timing it's about symbol it's about uh the combination of symbols it, it's about to be the ability to read. Remember Joseph, who was correctly Volesha Fay, Joseph in Egypt, Volesha Fay, Volesha Fay, the volumes of the royal eye that come down from the, the royal mother. The royal mother is the light. It's it's also the father. The father and mother are one. Depends upon what aspect you're, you're talking about, but the physical creation of light coming down is matter. Behind it is the spirit. Okay? It's a duality. In, in, but that's in a positive duality. There are also negative dualities. And um, so, uh, and, I, and, and so Ninja, I guess you got, you got the audio back. I, I, I'm trying to figure that out. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yes. Yay. Good. Okay. I see it. So, um, so anyway, we're, we're um, attempting here on this broadcast uh, to help allow you to get, a, to, to interpret the symbol and therefore you can get a vision. Okay. And, um, because the great father is already speaking, you see, he's already speaking, but nobody can get the vision. They're, they're, they're so, um, you know, well, they got, they got us in our diapers, you know, so they, that's a, uh, that's a lot to overcome. You know, like some people want to blame everyone say, you know, it's all your fault because, you know, you, you didn't do nothing. You know, it's all your fault. No, no. Wait a minute. What? You know, I, I, I've been, actually, I've been trying to do you know, a positive thing all my life, actually, you know, and I, I, it's not my fault. I didn't enslave everybody, you know, but some people say, or, you know, because, oh, you're not meditating on, you know, you know, you know, going nam yoho renge kyo, nam yoho renge kyo. You're not going nam yoho renge kyo. So it's all your fault that this world is so screwed up. If you would have said nam yoho renge kyo, uh, uh, you know, every day of your life, then it just wouldn't be this way or, you know, something else or, you know what I mean? They, they literally, Okay, you know, in other words, we got a bad government, but if I will get my my attitude right, then the good government the good government will come in, right? Oh, it's my fault. Okay, you know, what I mean, I've had people say stupid stuff like that to me, you know, like okay, um, they actually think they they can fix planet Earth, really, you know, they think they can fix it. And um, at the last part of our program, we're going to go back into the big live uh, and conclude uh, this this story part four. Is it only part four? Gee, I thought it was part five already. Um, anyway, um, I guess it is part four. And we're going to uh, talk about who Adam really, really is, really was. And um, uh, he is in the, in the nature of uh, this uh, story. He, that's what he is. Uh, the, the brightest of them all, the one who made this. And so what they did, you see, in our scriptures is they, they had to change as they switch everything out. Uh, remove. You know, second removed from the the guy that was the bright one, right? The the one who who was taken up to the throne of the sun, and and um, and, and while Yeshua made all things, the the great Yavah Yavah who is the great Dole of Haim, they are one. He makes all things on earth, and at the same time, Hadam Dictum, he names all things. You see. And so, so he obviously knew how everything operated. You can't, you can't give something a name or a title if you don't know how it operates. You see, and um, so uh, 
he was that's therefore this terminology we hear the bright one is what belonged to him because there was no one he was the first mate on earth before anything else on earth was made we only had the ocean and the land and the magma coming off through the fountain is the fiery magma he's made by elohim the lower creation and then yavahe takes him up to the throne of the sun after the, the, the breath is breathed into him the breath of life is breathed into him after three days and three nights of just laying there very symbolic of what would happen at the end of the world at the beginning we got three days and three nights and at the end we got three days and three nights uh, of a great mystery that needs to be unfolded it's the mystery of the three that's why orion's belt has three stars because three holds everything together the three stars are the belt holding everything up oh the belt holds everything up right there's your three stars so you got to realize that nature is speaking to you but if you can't even read the signs that are all around you how in the world are you going to be able to get a vision you know how i hear and i forget i see meaning get the picture i see and i can remember that's confucius he knew something boy what he his book is amazing. He used all nature to, to, to tell his stories, to what are called natural reflections. Natural reflections. It's natural. It's nature. And nature is alive. And, um, you know, uh, I can't begin to tell you. I can't begin to tell you uh, the visions that I've had. And we'll be sharing them on the future broadcast. But I don't want to get too far off track here because I got a, a big uh, story in front of me. And I want to cover a little ground. Um, on symbols and then uh, the uh, the dictionary of all scriptures and myths okay and uh, very nice graphic uh, Shelly thank you and um, okay so um, I've got words here too maybe I'll do a few words okay I'll do a few words real quick um, and we've got we got some team effort going here where we got uh, um, the um, the cosmic essence a new channel created by Ninja Cat 111 and we're going to put uh, the splices of all these. We're going to split, uh, cut everything in segments. All of these presentations I've been doing uh, as best as possible. And we're going to then, um, um, uh, you know, make it so you can you can uh, go like going through a catalog and you can pick what what you want to research. What do you want to hear about Adam uh, or you want to hear about, uh, you know, uh, the meaning of a certain symbol, particular symbol or uh or or um you know uh, 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 the original thought in scripture you know the um uh, uh the word the words which are correctly asia wars you know uh so we're gonna we're gonna just keep popping them in on that channel there and then you could you could selectively you know analyze some things and 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 begin to uh breathe breathe uh with the knowledge that that you can acquire okay because uh yeshua freely gave it to me and we we freely make it available uh we do want to publish some works and and um and, and need support for that because we want to the first place we want to go is uh is to prison and we want to uh you know get these works to the mass the mass incarcerated the greatest mass incarceration in the history of mankind we got uh about um what eight uh, about five million people in prison in america give or take and then you add you had, uh, you know, the jail, uh, the jails, county jails, re you know, uh, regional jails and local jails. Then maybe about up to upwards of 10, maybe 10 million people are in uh, prison or in jail, ladies and gentlemen, in America. OK, that's what uh, that's a lot, you know. And listen, you can hear him right now. Listen to this. I'll, and while you're listening, I'll be right back. Okay, you hear that? You hear that silence? That silence is their tears. It's their crying. They're crying about probably, uh, you know, one in 20 of them right now. Of all that, those uh, 10 million people, give or take, one in 20 of them at least right now is probably crying, you know, or, or maybe one in 100. We don't know. But that's a, bit, that's a big number. You know, that's a big number. They're crying right now because they've lost their lives to a fraud, to a conspiracy, to enslave mankind, a money racket, the greatest money racket in history, double booking, double book entries with uh, local, state, and uh, county and national, um, you know, institutions with people in black robes and 
and uh, secret handshakes, and they're and they're all saying, "Hey, man, business is pretty good, isn't it?" I'm telling you, bro. Let's let's have a party tonight. You know, on on you and me, ladies and gentlemen, and our fellow Americans, our our fellow brothers and sisters around the world. Um, they're also having it, but not as bad because America is, as they told us, the great experiment. This is where they like to play games on the great experiment, right? Freedom is not an experiment. For what, 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 you know, when they used to say that about America, yeah, America, the great experiment. I'm thinking, wait a minute, freedom is not an experiment. That's, that's a natural right. Oh, but they're experimenting on us? Whoa. And that's, they told us. See, they always tell you what they're going to do to you. <laughs> 